The disease affects nearly 1.5 million Americans, and according to the National Parkinson Foundation, 50 to 60,000 new cases are diagnosed each year. In its early stages, Parkinson's can be difficult to diagnose, but with the help from a new imaging test at Scottsdale Medical Imaging, patients and their doctors are getting the answers they need early on. This is a normal scan of a healthy brain, and you can see this is the area that we're, of, we're concerned with that is affected by Parkinson's disease. It normally looks like a comma, and you can see both sides are pretty similar. This is an example of a very abnormal brain. Whereas in the normal brain, you could see very nice comma shape activity. Currently, you see there's just a small circle on this side, and on the other side, there's hardly anything. This is a very advanced case of Parkinson's disease. And it's that definitive diagnosis from a DAT scan that Dr. Nishant Verma at Scottsdale Medical Imaging can quickly give patients. Parkinson's disease is a progressive neurological disorder where neurons in the region of the brain that control movement degenerate, leading to a shortage of dopamine. When the dopamine uh, levels go down, uh, patients start to tend to get movement disorders, uh, tremors, shaking, and a lot of gait difficulties as well. Patients can often be diagnosed with Parkinson's through a series of physical and neurological exams, but there's no single objective test to diagnose the disease. And in some cases, diseases like essential tremor have similar symptoms. So that's where Dr. Verma and his team of experts turn to the DAT scan for answers. Many patients are able to be diagnosed clinically. Their history is very classic, or they respond to the medications really well. And in, that, in those cases, the DAT scan really wouldn't add anything. It would be pointless to do. But it's in the difficult patients in which the expert neurologists are having difficulty trying to determine whether it is uh, something that is not dangerous, like an essential tremor, that's one of the things that looks like Parkinson's, or a Parkinson's type syndrome. And in those patients, that's where the DAT scan comes in. The study takes less than an hour. Patients are injected with a radioactive agent into their bloodstream. The amount of radiation that's involved in a DAT scan is less than you would get with an abdominal CT exam. Uh, if you had abdominal pain. So it's quite a small amount of radiation. The DAT scan shows what's happening in the brain and reveals any changes occurring in the chemistry. It comes in the cases where their neurologists aren't really sure what to do. Their hands are kind of tied. And we're trying to help unknot those, trying to show them, like, look, this is, this is definitely a Parkinson's disease, or this is absolutely not a Parkinson's disease. And that really helps them guide the treatment for the patients. And it's that plan of treatment or the knowledge of what their future may hold that has this team of doctors dedicated to providing answers for their patients. Long-term outlooks for Parkinson's disease include um, problems with memory loss, uh, motion, uh, movement problems like we mentioned, but also problems with concentration and other things. And so if we can help those patients uh, before those types of symptoms present, then they'll be much better off in the long run. If you would like more information about Scottsdale Medical Imaging and their Two Valley locations, you can log on to their website, esmil.com, or call the number you see right there on your screen.